In front of us today, guys, is the new exotic heavy machine gun, Air Apparent, also known as Skyburner's Girth. This weapon essentially gives us the ultimate power of the Cabal. It's the equivalent of like a roided out sweet business. And today, guys, we're gonna be reviewing this exotic in both PvE and PvP. I also wanna compare it against weapons like Xenophage and 21% Delirium. As when we think of like top tier machine guns, those are the two that jump up to me. Xenophage has become one of the best weapons in this sandbox, most notably due to nerfs. So we're definitely gonna be comparing damage values, total damage values, as well as DPS against all of these machine guns. Now, in order to get this exotic, you have to be participating in Guardian Games and completing the Triumph Class Act. We made a guide the other day on the seven Triumphs to target. Neen here though, alongside a few others in the community, did find an exploit. Essentially deleting one of your characters and making a new character will allow you to consistently keep turning gold medals in. Now, don't suggest it simply because you're losing an entire character that you probably put a lot of work into. But if you have no qualms with saying goodbye, I guess just bank all your stuff, delete a character, go to the tower to Eva Levante, and just keep turning in the gold medal that she gives you for free at the beginning of the quest line. Kind of cheesy, fellas, but it's a method that works. Outside of that, you can just follow the guy that we posted the other day, which if you did follow that guy, it's a good chance you're going to have this exotic by today. Now, with that being said, let's talk about this weapon. First up, it's exotic trait, heavy slug thrower. Use your aim down sight button to spin up. The weapon can be fired only when fully spun up. Now this combines with the trait found on this exotic, Armor of the Colossus. While at full health, spinning up this weapon protects you with an arc shield. It's actually a pretty good arc shield. We saw some clips yesterday. Inside of PvP, you can tank things like Revoker to the head. Just some of my PvP gameplay, I was actually able to tank a mountaintop to the face. Pretty nice. Now the weapon also comes with corkscrew rifling for the increased range and stability. It also has a pendant mag for that increase in magazine size. And as you see there, we're rocking a whopping 200 round magazine. It also comes with combat grip, where it states that the recoil direction is more vertical, greatly controls that recoil. Now that's a very important grip because if you notice from the gameplay, I am not aiming down sights. You can't aim down sights with this weapon. It's all hip fire, baby, which is kind of a downside in some areas because landing crit after crit is a tad bit more difficult from the hip. But I will say that grip, as well as just the weapon overall, has a pretty solid hip box that even hitting shots from the hip wasn't necessarily difficult. Now this exotic is a 900 round per minute machine gun, which is another reason why we're comparing it to 21% Delirium. 21% Delirium, even to this day, is still considered one of the best machine guns in the game. It's still pinnacle. It's one of the few weapons that Bungie has not messed with, not nerfed, and still one of my favorite weapons. Now when we actually start to break down the damage. Air Apparent, over here at Greg, does 1,331 per crit and 1,104 per body. Now, it's magazine size, including its ammo reserves. Now, granted, I do want to mention that I don't have any machine gun reserve perks on. We're holding a whopping 500 rounds. Now, I'm going to give you two DPS values today. Number one, I'm going to give you a DPS value with Actium. I'm also going to give you a DPS value without Actium. But Actium is an exotic chest piece found on the Titan class that comes with the perk Auto Loading Link. It steadily reloads a portion of your equipped auto rifle or machine gun from its reserves. So, it works for both auto rifles and machine guns. And I think some of us sometimes forget that it actually affects our machine guns, which is why it's one of the best exotics to pair with Xenophage in the sandbox. So currently right now, DPS with Actium and Air Apparent is 19,965 damage. Now without Actium, it drops off substantially here at 12,737, but that's to be expected. It also comes with a total damage value of 665,500 damage. That's quite a bit. Like on the total front, that's a lot. And rightfully so, when you have 500 rounds, you're gonna have a hell of a lot of total damage. Now, first up on the comparison block, we have Xenophage. Xenophage is such a unique weapon, but man, it received a lot of hell when it first released. A lot of people were upset with the state of the weapon. They thought it was garbage, and Bungie was like, you know what, let's just nerf everything else, and then you'll like it. I guess not a bad strategy. Kind of depressing, though. Xenophage fires those explosive rounds, though, and has two major benefits. Number one, no damage fall off. Number two, doesn't require you to hit crits. It is the most ease of use weapon you can use in this sandbox for excellent damage, especially if you're pairing it with Actium War Rig. So over here at Greg, that damage actually is 15,322 damage per shot. 
that's a lot of damage. Now, it only holds 29 rounds, and it shoots at 120 rounds per minute, so substantially less than air apparent. But if you're pairing this with Actium War Rig, your DPS value is 30,644 damage. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, Xenophage absolutely destroys air apparent. The hell with this exotic. Now, its base DPS value without Actium does drop to 17,549. So almost rivaling that of Air Apparent with Actium War Rig, all on its own, which is kind of crazy. Now its total damage is quite less at 444,338 damage. You can see that there's a big difference between total damage and that's largely due to the 500 rounds that Air Apparent holds. Now on paper, Xenophage is definitely whooping the piss out of Air Apparent, but let's see if 21% Delirium also does the same thing. 21% Delirium, starts off at 955 damage, but that damage actually ramps up pretty significantly with killing Tally by just getting weapon kills. On top of that, the weapon also comes with overflow, which allows the weapon to actually jump up in its magazine size from 102 to 204, rivaling that of Air Apparent. Now the damage ramps up at killing Tally times one by 21.6%, hence 21% Delirium, and that continues to amp up all the way at killing Tally times three by almost 65 but the beautiful thing about 21% Delirium is that you can throw a spec mod on it. Boss spec, major spec, whatever you want. Killing Tally times three plus a spec mod increases that crit damage to 1,697 damage per crit for a total of 77.7% .7 increase there in damage. Now, DPS across the board with Actium starts off being less than Air Apparent at 14,325. At Killing Tally times one, it goes up to 17,415 but at killing tally times two, it surpasses that of air apparent at 20,520. Again, on the top end, we're looking at 25,455 damage in terms of DPS with killing tally times three and a spec mod. Now, just comparing DPS to DPS, no Actium involved, we actually see the DPS value of 21% Delirium surpassing that of air apparent at killing tally times one instead of killing tally times two. Now, granted, you still have to expend some ammo in order to get killing tally. So by the time you expend ammo, you take into account the less damage that you do there. It's probably not until killing tally times two that you actually surpass that of air apparent. Now, total damage wise, we're looking at only 371,495 damage when 21% delirium is in its base form. And granted, this ramps up significantly with spec mods and everything else to 660,000 damage. But even still, air apparent surpasses that of 21% delirium in total damage. So what is the point of this exotic machine gun and should it even be called a heavy machine gun? Guys, the two biggest benefits of this machine gun inside of PVE, number one, survivability. Having that overshield is actually really nice. It's quite tanky, more noticeably tanky inside of PVE and it only actually gives you the overshield when you have ammo. So you can't necessarily start spinning up without any ammo. You have to have some ammo in your gun for it to actually grant you an overshield. But there are things you could do to feed more into that overshield to constantly have your overshield because it starts giving you an overshield as long as you have full health and you're spinning the weapon up. So things like Devour, which constantly gives you your health back, Artillery Medic, which is a build we did the other day with Fireteam Medic mods. Things like that can really contribute to maintaining full health at all time, thus giving us an overshield at all times, which greatly increases our survivability. On top of that, the fact that you don't have to do any work, none whatsoever, to reach this 665,500 total damage is pretty nice. This weapon is not meant to go in there and be the nastiest DPS monster in the game. This is a weapon that's going to allow you to chew through entire strikes with ease or pretty much anything else with subpar DPS values when encountering bosses. So I'm not just going to throw Air Apparent under the bus and say this is a bad exotic because I understand what it's trying to do. I do, however, find that it being called a heavy machine gun was kind of strange, right? And I know some people are like, whoa, it's called a heavy machine gun because it takes heavy ammo. I'm more or less pointing out to the trailer where Bungie directly referred to this exotic as an HMG, a heavy machine gun. It was almost as if they were trying to say, hey, this is a new archetype of machine guns. We're about to give you a DPS monster. To me though, guys, inside of PVE, I find this weapon to be extremely enjoyable. From its large magazine size, the amount of total damage that it could do, it's one of those weapons that will allow you to turn up 
for many activities in the game. Now, inside of PvP, I was actually curious about this weapon because I've seen the clips where people can tank revoker shots to the face, mound tops. It seems like a weapon that will allow you to just walk around, tank damage, and wreck house. It does 33 damage per crit and 28 damage per body, has an optimal time to kill of 0.33 seconds, and a body shot TTK value of 0.4. In comparison to other machine guns inside of PvP, it's actually like the best time to kill in the game. You also get a whopping 68 rounds when you pick up heavy inside of Crucible, which can net you if you were just to hit nothing but body shots, nine to 10 kills. And considering the survivability that you get here with the overshield, you can definitely do that. Now, granted, don't just go out there and stand in the open. I kind of did that. You can still get chewed up by certain weapons. And considering that while you were in that spinning up form, you're pretty stationary. So it's not all just juicy here, man. You gotta be somewhat tactical about this. On top of that, there is almost a second and a half delay from when you start to actually spin this weapon up to when you're actually able to shoot it. Granted though, you'll probably just be spinning up at all times for that overshield. So guys, overall, this exotic seems to be fantastic for total damage, fantastic for chewing through entire strikes, mowing down adds and majors in pretty much any meaty target in front of you. It also seems to be a fantastic weapon for PvP. It's not necessarily the weapon to be using for those boss damage phases that everyone was hoping for, but every other aspect about it is fantastic. The only thing I wish they would have added to this weapon was a stomp mechanic. You know what I mean? Can you imagine something gets close to you and you have like a bunch you can press to just stop people out of existence it would go well with the theme man so guys that is our review here for this exotic machine gun good luck getting it have fun with it fellas i can't wait to get it on my own account and again big shout out to neen for grinding for this thing fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right